I need to get internet service from the house I'm at here to that house over there, and I'm not paying twice for internet service on one property. Let's go. There are several products that will bridge two networks together over a distance. This product called Kufi or Kufi or Kuifi, whatever, promised to do it with a 900 megabit bandwidth link over a distance of two to three kilometers. For us Americans, that measurement in feet is roughly between 6,500 and 9,800 feet or almost 2,200 to 3,300 yards, which picture a football field, that's a lot of football fields. Now stay with me because things are about to get real interesting, but before we get deeper, support the channel and subscribe. If this is useful or interesting, give me a thumbs up. So I believe these are made in China and this is some dude unpacking it online. Bottom line, it comes with a transmitter and receiver and they both can be configured either way. You unclip the bottom and you'll have a reset and sync button with two network ports. It also has a power over ethernet injector that if your router isn't PoE, you can plug these in. My router is not PoE and is far away from where I need to hang these, meaning I don't have a network connection, but I'm gonna show you my setup to make this work. If they're line of sight, they will automatically detect each other. Now they both see each other, H is the host and C is the slave. They pair automatically and you can make either one of them the host or the slave. The host is going to be on the house with the internet connection. Now there is a GUI for these that lets you do several things. Analyze the signal strength, see the MAC address, encryption for security, configure your wireless and passwords, and more. So here's my setup and the issue that I had to resolve that might help you out if you're looking to do the same thing. Okay. So there's two structures and they're two to three kilometers apart or a whole lot of football fields. The structure on the right has a cable modem downstairs and we need to connect the Kufi antenna to it with a network cable. But they're far apart from each other. I don't want to start drilling holes and running long network cables through the house. Here's my simple solution. Let's take a closer look. As mentioned, downstairs is the cable modem and I'm going to use a Powerline Ethernet adapter and plug it right into my cable modem. These roughly cost around $35 for two and will allow me to use my home's power cabling as a data network. Then, upstairs in the highest point of the house, I'll put another Powerline Ethernet adapter close to the antenna and connect it to the injector. The injector has to be plugged in for power and the network cable plugs from the adapter to the injector. Then another network cable connects directly from the injector to the antenna, powering it and making a data connection. Back to the two houses. The second house that needs internet, I'll put up the slave antenna and connect it to a Wi-Fi router and the injector. This one's a lot easier because I can put the router as close as I can to the antenna and everyone in the house can access internet through Wi-Fi. Just as long as these are line of sight from each other, they'll talk. Now, this link says it can transmit up to 900 megabits. I was getting roughly 40 megabits, which was acceptable to me for people to watch TV, surf the net, and more. I had several factors that reduced the rate. The cable company isn't giving me this rate, and also going through my power line for network 
and whatever else. Here's my physical setup. The cable company put the modem underneath the kitchen sink, the worst possible place for accessibility. Here's the power line ethernet adapter and here's the cable modem. Now upstairs, here's the plug. The ethernet power line adapter, the PoE injector to power and add the internet network connection to the antenna, the other network cable loops into the power line ethernet. And the network cable direct to the antenna. I ran it through this PVC pipe to protect the cable being outside. I just mounted the PVC to the railing and zip tied the antenna to the PVC. The mount and the zip ties came with the antenna. And this sucker is transmitting internet across the mountain to the little house over there in the distance. You can see the receiving antenna right here. I hope this helps. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.